Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here, and in this video, I want to do an unboxing for Star Trek The Motion Picture, the Director's Edition, which is out now on 4K Ultra HD. This actually came out in September, but it was kind of out of stock in a lot of stores, and I actually saw the price kind of high, and I thought, you know, I'll wait till the price goes down. It was on sale for uh, $23.95 or something on Amazon and just came in the mail today, picked it up. Uh, if you didn't know, I have actually, last year I actually got this box set, Star Trek, the original four movie collection on 4K. This was the theatrical release of Star Trek One, the motion picture. Now we have the director's edition that came out and I thought you know what if I'm gonna pick this up I'm not too wild about this packaging the four movie collection it, the packaging is okay it's got four movies in there blu-ray 4k but I much prefer these slip covers so I thought I think I'm gonna trade in or get rid of this and go for the slip cover so I actually went over to Best Buy and I picked up Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. This has both the director and the theatrical cut. And then I picked up three. Basically, these are the same, transfer the same discs that are in here. But now we get these nice, beautiful uh, slipcover artwork from the uh, movie posters. I just figured, you know what, this is probably the last time I'm going to pick up these Star Trek movies. Now that they're in 4K, I'll just get like the versions that look the coolest on my shelf, uh, my my movie shelf. And uh, then of course, Star Trek VI, which I actually did an unboxing of this already. This has both director and theatrical cuts. So now let's get back to unboxing and seeing what this looks like. We've got new deleted scenes footage. There's actually an ultimate longer cut that's about $80, $85 that you can purchase. The director didn't really have insight on that. That was kind of culled together from some, you know, extra footage, you know, stuff that was meant, I think, to be left on the cutting room floor. And um, I thought, you know what? I don't really like the packaging on that version. They, they shoved the discs into the, uh, the cardboard sleeve which I'm not really a fan of, so I thought, you know what, for 24 bucks or so, I'll get this version. This is what Robert Weiss kind of intended. They actually did a director's cut on DVD years ago, which I gotta be honest, I've never seen. So this will be the first time I'm actually seeing the restored director's cut edition of Star Trek The Motion Picture. And as time has uh, passed, I've actually gained a little bit more of an appreciation of this movie. I uh, put the soundtrack on my phone. I've been listening to it at night when I'm reading comics and really just appreciating the, the score and the soundtrack uh, more and more. And visually, this one had a, a great budget, so visually it looks very stunning. You can actually see when you watch the Star Trek movies um, in chronological order how the budget and the quality visually has sort of diminished a bit. And on the back of the digital code inside, you can see there's a note from the director, Robert Wise, talking about the director's edition on there, so that's a nice little touch. We got the uh, special features here. That's probably a commentary and stuff. And I do think that there is, including bonus features, hours of new and legacy stuff. So there's new and legacy stuff on there. Hopefully uh, there should be something that really showcases what the new effects that completed, new visuals look like. That'll be something worth checking out. And I heard there's like different sound cues and crowd shots and things kind of mixed in a little differently with the audio. So it's not just the picture, it's the audio and the picture. But there it is. I'm looking forward to diving back into Star Trek The Motion Picture, the director's edition, for the first time and uh, seeing what that looks like. I also have now, now the next thing is I have the Star Trek The Next Generation movie collection in a box set with the Picard movies. So hopefully we get some generations, some first contact, some insurrection, and uh, nemesis to come out. And what I think I'll do is I'll skip the box set and just go straight for the individual releases like this so I can have all these on my Blu-ray shelf all as, as one with these slip cases matching and looking very beautiful. Paramount, don't don't 
come out with the next batch and not do nice, gorgeous slip covers of the movie pictures. We're, we're showing you that we're willing to rebuy these over and over again as Star Trek fans. So anyway, thanks a bunch for watching for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.